24 in Lewis. To place your deli or carry out orders, call 302-945-0700. Radio check one, two, one, two. Jessica's juice is on. Power 1017. All right, well, here we go. After Scott Disick allegedly sent a shady DM mocking his ex Courtney Kardashian's PDAs with Travis Barker, public display of affection, right? Uh, with uh, recipient Giannis Benjamin. Shared with the world, it created issues not just for Courtney and Travis, but also his current flame, Amelia Hamlin. People uh, reports that the pair hit a quote rocky patch. A source says it's partially because Courtney, uh, the Courtney drama, but also says Scott being Scott, they're not fully over yet. But Amelia isn't happy with him, according to a second insider. Disick thirty eight, Hamlin twenty, chose not to spend uh, Labor Day weekend with Scott. Wow. They uh, have spent the weekend uh, apart so far. Everything seemed fine last weekend. And then all of a sudden, they seem to be having issues. An insider said they're on the East Coast separately and didn't leave Los Angeles together. Uh, Hamlin appeared to uh, reference the drama herself, posting a shot of herself wearing a white tank top, reading, don't you have a girlfriend across the front? So there you go. Wow. Wow. So, trouble in the land once again for Scott Disick. Uh, Chrissy Teigen is sharing her progress towards sobriety. Uh, She wrote, today is my 50-day sobriety streak. So, that's definitely a great thing. She wrote a caption on a video of her kids interrupting her workout that she shared on her verified Instagram account. She said, it should be nearly a year, but I've had a few wine hiccups uh, along the road. She marked her longest sobriety streak yet but added she's unsure if she'll never drink again. Tegan says she knows that drinking no longer serves me in any way. I don't get more fun. I don't get more fun. I don't dance. I don't get relaxed, she wrote. I get sick, fall asleep, and wake up sick, having missed what was probably a fun night. I have my fun with it and appreciate anyone that can enjoy it responsibly. The writer or model has uh, been openly grappling with depression following revelations that she had bullied people in the past. So there you go. But definitely a good thing that, you know, 50 days sober. Very sad news that broke yesterday. Actor Michael K. Williams, who starred as Omar Little on HBO's The Wire, was found dead in his Brooklyn apartment yesterday afternoon. Police sources tell the New York Post the 54-year-old was reportedly found face down and unconscious with what appeared uh, to be heroin on the kitchen table and an overdose is uh, suspected. Williams' spokesperson confirmed his death, telling The Hollywood Reporter, quote, It is with deep sorrow that the family announces the passing of Emmy-nominated actor Michael Kenneth Williams. They asked for privacy while grieving uh, this loss. Williams has been open about his struggles with drugs over the years. So very sad news. Um, Omar from The Wire, man, only 54 years old. Wow. So thoughts and prayers going out. Very, very shocked about that news. It is the Bill and Jessica show. Day 44. Here's Post Malone. It's called Motley Crew. The hottest music is on. It's Power 1017. Good morning. Count up the bands sticking out. No rubber bands 